Hey, Declan Club, I want to tell you a story about how I first learned to manage my anxiety. Now, I think I've had anxiety probably, probably since I've been an adult, probably since I've had kids. I don't think I had it a whole lot before I had kids, but um, once I had kids, I think the pressures and, um, you know, just like the to-do list got bigger. And so, and I like to do a lot of things like I know a lot of you do. So I just started to get stressed out. And so I really kind of considered it like, this is me being stressed out, right? This is like, I didn't even really know that that was anxiety, but that's what it was for me. But, um, I remember I, um, I had heard, I was pregnant with my fourth child and I had heard that there was this program that you could use to learn self-hypnosis when you are going through childbirth. And I was like, that sounds fantastic. And I was in a very organic kind of natural period of my life. I actually am probably still in that place a little bit. Um, but I mean, I was like, wow, it sounds so good. And I had natural childbirth with one of, I guess, one of my kids. And anyway, so I was like, I'm totally going to try that. So I got the program. I remember I agonized over like buying it because it was like $200 or something like that. I was like, should I buy it? Should I not buy it? It was like CDs. I think, I think it was CDs and there was a booklet, right? This was, um, in 2011. So there wasn't like all this online stuff. I don't think I had a smartphone back then. There was no iPad in my house. So I bought the CDs, I bought the book and I did went through the program and it was so cool because I learned how to relax. <laughs> like, I didn't know how to relax and apparently being able to relax is a really good thing, especially if you're going to have a baby and stick with me because if this is not only about having babies, I promise you, um, this can be used anywhere. My hair is kind of bugging me here. Um, so I remember I had just gone into labor again with the fourth kid and my neighbor was over. I think she was going to come and like hang out with me or something like sit with me before we went to the hospital. And, um, a contraction came on, you know, we were chatting and she's like, wow, you look really good. And I'm like, yeah, I'm totally fine. And then I had a contraction and then I just like totally relaxed and I like my head lowered and I started breathing deeply and she's like, Ooh, what's going on here? This is different. Right. And I just like sat with it and I just allowed it really is what it was right now. I know like now we have different terms for describing um, how we're interacting with our feelings, but that was what it was. And, you know, I relaxed. And then when the contraction was over, then I opened my eyes and I started talking with her again. She was like, okay, that's different. <laughs> and, um, and then I used that whole process throughout the birth of this kid. And he was my biggest kid. He was almost 10 pounds. I think it was like two pounds, two ounces shy from 10 pounds. He was a big kid, but totally natural childbirth, not saying it was a walk in the park, but, um, it worked which was so exciting to me, right? This whole hypno baby self hypnosis process totally works. And, um, now 11 years later, I, I absolutely have so many more tools in my toolbox for managing stress and anxiety, but that was like my first one. Right. And I think back on that and that was such a cool thing because, you know, instead of, pushing back and instead of like resisting, you know, and tensing up and being like, Oh no, this is horrible. Like these feelings and, um, these contractions or whatever, whatever feelings that you are coming up against, whether it's stress or, you know, you're freaking out because something is happening or you're, you're worried about, you know, letting something go or whatever it is, instead of freaking out and pushing back against it, you just allow it. And you just sit with it. We have a whole lesson on this in the membership. So if you all have not watched that, please make sure you watch it. It is probably one of the top lessons that we have in the membership. It's called Decluttering with Big Emotions. And I walk you through how to handle that. Um, because here's the thing. Like, we're, this is going to happen in our lives. We are never going to have times. Can I get an amen on this? <laughs> we're never going to have times when... Like everything is perfect and amazing, right? You may have a stretch where things are really good, but sooner or later, something's going to happen and you're probably going to get stressed out or, you know, maybe something terrible is going to happen. Maybe something very traumatic is going to happen, right? It's not a question of, you know, 
if it's a question of when, right? Right, Lindy? Like these things are going to happen to us. Like we're going to have circumstances in our lives that challenge us. I know you know what I'm talking about, Daisy, right? Like life is not always easy. <laughs> That's an understatement. So instead of wishing it were always easy, how about if we just wish for the tools and if we learn how to manage ourselves better when those hard times do come? Because then it's okay if they come, right? And it's not like we want it to come. It's not like we were wishing for problems. But at least if we have the tools now, we are equipped. And then it's not quite so bad, right? And then we can, we can manage. And um, it doesn't have to send us into a tailspin, which is what happens if we don't know how to manage these things, right? So, like, the, again, the hypnosis, the self-hypnosis was a really interesting um, technique for me. Um, and I kind of still fall into it a little bit, but I have so many more tools now that, um, that I use. And this is just one of them, just allowing, allowing the feelings, not denying them, not pushing them away, not running away from them, not going and eating a box of, you know, crackers or cookies, right? That doesn't, that's not allowing the feelings, but just sitting with them and being like, okay, here we are sitting here pretty stressed out and then just allowing that. Um, and it's so, so powerful. And I loved learning that, um, learning that skill was just like a game changer for me. And, um, I've been using it ever since. And so, I mean, do I still have anxiety? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. A hundred percent. But when it happens, I'm like, Oh, okay, here we are. <laughs> okay. I guess we're going to be anxious today. And that's, you know, it's not the end of the world. So that's what I have for you today. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, everyone. Thanks, Didi. Bye.